Hello, um, this is a very quick unboxing video. It's for the NZXT H510i uh, mid tower ATX case. Um, this case is the um, H510 with some extra bells and whistles. So um, let's get it open. And this is in white. Shut the knife, let's get this off. Here's a tip. Instead of lifting the case out of the box, lift the box off the case. So we'll just flip it upside down like that. And off it comes. Up down there, out of the way. So I'll take this one first. And feel the static. Get these out of the way. And then we'll twiddle it round. Quite light, but it does feel rather robust. And um, there it is. I'll take the side panel off because it's um, going to be a bit um, heavy. I'll take this panel off as well. I'm not really sure how to get the side panel off. That's that one off, and there's a dust filter on that edge. That's like that. So how do I get that off then? No idea how you get that off. Oh. The captive, captive ones come out, so that's good. Let's say it says do it that way. Oh. Few. It's got a little rubberized thing on there. I'll bring it in a bit closer. It's that little knobbly bit. Um, I've pulled the captive screw out, so I'll just put that back in. It's not very not particularly. It wasn't very difficult to do that, so it's not. Um, it's a bit disappointing, but anyway. There's the various connectors. So they rewrited most of the cables already. Um, I don't like those sort of things, but I'll leave it on. Uh, there's a little controller there for the lights. That's what sets this apart from the standard 510. Here's the box of bits. Let's see what we get in there. Uh, there's actually a headphone mic adapter. Because you get one socket on the top for your, your headphones, so nice thing could an adapter with that. Various, well let's just open it and find out. So there's the adapter and that goes in there so that you can plug in the right sort of thing. I'll just bring that a bit closer because I think it's a bit hard to see. So it comes with an adapter because you only get one socket on the top. So if you look at the photos you might think, oh hello. But they thought of it, so you get a you get a splitter, and the usual sort of screws and cable ties. That's kind of nice, although yeah. So you get the motherboard services with a. Um, 
Ah, oh, it's because it's that one's labelled. Look, where is that? Isn't so. That's what you plug the connectors in, and then do that. Much. Hmm. Not sure, the point of that is little manual, which is never particularly helpful, but it's got the, not the tear down. I may or may not look at that. And I'm just sorting out what screws we get. Just a whole collection of little odds and odds and sods. We get a few cable ties, about 10 I think, something like that, maybe more. And that's about it. I'll just put those on the top there so you can see them. So you get a full lot of accessories. You get the fairly standard accessories really, to be honest, with the possible exception of the mic splitter. That's the mug that came in. So let's see what the um, what we've got. So there's quite a collection of things here. USB 3.1 has a SATA power connector there and that's going to be for the onboard LEDs because there's a little LED controller and there's various wires going off for that. So there's, um, that's them, so that's in the fan control as well. So it comes, this particular one comes with a, a controller. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a, that's a connector for something. Oh, that's the um, USB-C, the posh one, I think. I don't know, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah, so the, and they've got nice little channels in there to route the cables. So they've, it's quite a nice little case, quite well thought through. So I'm just going to get rid of all the bits that are now free to fall off. And I'll spin it round, have a look at the front bit. I don't, it's not as heavy as the in-win cases. The in-win cases are a lot heavier, a lot more substantial. But you can see in there, there's a very nice little plate that hides the where the cables poke through. And there's a cage at the bottom where the power supply lives. And the motherboard obviously sits there. And look, if you look at the... Uh, yeah, the, the risers are pre-fitted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all the risers are pre-fitted. That's kind of nice. And the one in the middle there is the bumpy one. So when you put the motherboard in, that sits it in without having to have a screw ready. And then you just do the screws up. So that's, that's, that's quite thoughtful. And there's a bit of the front here where you can mount fans and there, that's removable. So you can stick your radiator in there and there's one fan included at the back uh, and there's provision there for vertical mounting a GPU so that's all kind of nice and then there's one fan in the roof as well or you can put your rad there instead if you want buttons kind of nice at the bottom there's a drive cage for three and a half inch drives and you've got two mounts there for two and a half inch SSDs. So um, yeah, the main thing with this obviously is it's the i version so it's got the special controller which is, if I spin it round, that there and it's all pre-wired in. Um, which is kind of nice. Must connect power to PC, please, yes, you. So, do not connect PWM-based water pumps. Okay, wind in. So, uh, this actually comes with its own controller, which covers fans. Um, it's a smart device version two. Smart device version two. Um, the smart device connects your PC via a single internal USB 2 connector to enable control of the smart device downloaded and installed next cam. The thing about cam, I like, quite like cam. Uh, I've got it for my um, Kraken. And when you're setting the, the colours, because the pump bit has got like a infinity LED on it, 
when you set the colours, it remembers it. So you don't have to have the cam software running. Because obviously having stuff running is a bit of a pain. And when you've got lots of different companies making lots of different um, software, you might find you have two or three things running um, just to make it look pretty. So it's very, very nice that the cam stuff doesn't need to be running for it to, um, to remember the settings. Whether that's going to be true for this, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out. So, um, yeah, that's the... Oh, the front. I haven't done the front. The front is completely smooth. Completely smooth. There's a little sort of NZXT highlight bit there, which is, which is yeah, it's quite attractive. Um, but that means there's no... There's an air intake at the bottom. So there's a grill under there, which I could actually show you rather than pretending to show you. You can see it there, look, there's the grill there. So you can suck air in at the front bottom. And as I mentioned when I took it off, there's a mesh on the side there, which has also got a, a dust filter on it. So the air comes in from the side. I'll bring that a bit forward. So although the front is completely sealed off, there's nowhere to put a CD drive or anything, it's completely sealed off. The air can come in from that side and it can come in from underneath. So the airflow should be all right because um, there's enough of a gap to allow air in, which obviously would be a criticism of a front that's completely sealed. So yes, all in all, I don't think it's as heavy. It's not as heavy as the Inwin. It doesn't feel to be, the metal doesn't feel to be as thick as, as with Inwin. Because um, I do like, I, I'm a fan of Inwin cases. I was very surprised on the previous unboxing just how beefy they were. It kind of reminded me of, of like 1990s computers, which, which you could, you know, step on to reach high objects on shelves. So I used to use that for one of the classes I had, um, just to prove how robust they, it was. So um, I don't fancy doing it on this one, because that's a bit, there's a bit of flex in that. And I think it is a little bit thin, but it's, um, yes, it's still a very nice case. Um, so yeah, any, any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, liking and subscribing is always appreciated. And um, as ever, thanks for watching. Oh, hello again. Um, so you might have noticed that the video went on longer than the sign off. Um, and that's because I um, looked at the unboxing and then I, I sort of um, decided that maybe you'd want to find out more about the smart device version two um, and sort of see it in action. Because obviously the, the H510 comes as the H510, but the H510i is the one that comes with the extra goodies. So you get the smart device version 2, you get two LED lighting strips and you get two fans. And the LED lighting strips and the fans are both plugged into the smart device. So overall you get three fan channels and two RGB ports. Um, and let's just have a look. So you load up the cam software, which I, which I kind of like, uh, mainly because it hasn't got to be running. And if we go to the lighting, you can see there's the smart device there. And if I then, um, what I'll do is I'll move the camera over and you can see, you can see it there. And uh, I'll just tilt it up slightly so you can get to see, because there's a strip running along there and there's a strip behind this white metal plate. So I'll choose one of the um, funkier effects. I'll do the Super Rainbow. And it, it actually looks rather nice because the strips are synchronized. Um, and if I then go to another one, we'll go to Spectrum Wave. And what you can do, if you look carefully, is you can see that the colors start there and they sort of cycle around like that. So the strips are, are, are synchronized. Um, that's kind of funky, but obviously you can, um, <laughs> you can turn it off. Um, so the next thing um, is the uh, cooling and you've got three fan channels. Each individual fan, uh, because the cam software links to uh, motherboard sensors, which if I just swing back, you'll see some on, on the thing there. You can see that the fan controller itself, you can configure it for different temperatures. So if the CPU 
um, rises, you can put a fan curve in for that. So you can link it to various devices. Uh, well, CPU and GPU, I say various, I mean two. Obviously the CPU is gonna be the main one you're gonna be going for. So the individual fans are controllable and there's different modes, silent, performance, custom and fixed. So you've got some quite good fan control. Um, and that, this is independent of the motherboard. The motherboard obviously takes care of the things. Um, but so realistically, the, the, um, the device is good for lighting and for fan control. And um, that's probably worth the extra 20 quid or whatever it is, because you get two strips, the controller, two fans, it's all plugged in, it's all wired in, um, and it kind of works just straight out. Once you power it up and plug your USB 2 header in, that's it, it's working. Um, so I hope that's um, every little extra bit's kind of helpful. Obviously, if you've got any questions, just feel free to ask them. Um, liking and subscribing again is um, is appreciated. And um, thanks for watching.